Hey guys, just coming back to you. Uh, it's about 12 o'clock. Um, the night's very quiet. The weather's nice outside. I'm in my patio. It's got like a built-in screen. You can't see that, you know. But uh, coming to you, if any hope of um, giving me words of hope and an encouragement to um, understand how important the Word of God is truly is with, within our life and how much we need it. Our daily bread, man, is so true. Um, we get a little here and a little there, right? It's not be weirded out like you've got to be in your Bible 24-7 a day, but the true, truth of the matter is to get your daily portion, you know, is what's important. Um, a little here, a little there. And God does see that, but our heart bent toward God and positive. Like, Lord, I need you today. Being thankful when you wake up is a great thing. It's not a formula. It's got to be in your heart. Be thankful each day for what you have. I mean, we're not promised tomorrow, right? And here we are. Here we are today God's grace we are who we are by the grace of God today and I'm so thankful to be able to sit here and right now to talk to you guys and just let you know that I'm thankful to be able to do that um, do I love God perfectly I wouldn't say so you know how you love God perfectly is by loving his word having a desire for his word to grow to grow in the grace and the knowledge of the Lord Jesus Christ. And then reach beyond that, man, and to see see the world through the eyes of Christ, meaning see an eternal perspective, not perspective and where, of course, you if you look at the news and everything, you, you, comp, you get that in your mind, you're going to be a miserable person. You are. You need to back off of it. Back off your phone. Back off your TV. The best thing I've done, and it man, I'll tell you, I got my own things I deal with, but the best thing I've done is just back off all of it. I might get a little, an hour of it, but man, I love just, if you go outside, just listen, go outside. Look outside what God's created. Especially like a day, I know it was cold the other day, or the other week, but you go outside like a day where I'm living, man. You go out there and look at the lake, or you can look at the trees. I don't You don't have to have a lake. Just look at the trees. Look at what God created. Just stop for a moment. Stop for a moment. Get off your damn phone for a moment. Off your TV for a moment. Look at what God created and be thankful. You can lose in touch. You can really lose touch with reality, of what really matters. When you that's all you're thinking is this damn phone in your hand, or a TV, or any kind of media. Of course we need it. I'm not, I'm not getting down, guys. We need it. I like. I'm using media right now, right, to talk to you guys. But I'm saying there's time to just back off, unplug from it, unplug from it for a while. You know. Give yourself a chance to catch your breath in the morning. You don't have to turn on your phone. First thing you do, look at your phone. You know, stop a minute. Be quiet. You know, just be quiet and maybe go look at a tree. I don't know. Be thankful for what you have to stay. His mercies are new every day, right, is what he said. But if we're so encompassed with just what's what's going on in the world, what's going on, what about what's going on in God? What's going on in you? What's going on in me? Sometimes we need to look in the mirror. I need to look in the mirror. We need to look in the mirror and see what's going on. Is our heart right with God? Is your heart right with God? Right? He wants us to execute whatever it is he has us to do and do it faithfully. It ain't how we begin. It's not how in the middle of our life. But don't you want to end well? Don't you want to end well? That's the way I want to end and pray for me because I want to end well. I'm not doing well every day. I don't. I don't do well. 
I haven't done well in years, but with God's grace. But to end well, right? To end well, isn't that, isn't that worth the purpose we want to live for? The purpose that God put in our heart to execute his plan, what he put in our heart to accomplish. I'm not, not talk, I'm, not, I'm not talking about all these dreams and things and all these, you know, things you want to do, which is, is good, but to execute his plan is mean to be a heart after his word, a heart after wanting to be like Christ. What does that mean? It, that's being a doer of his word, but it's good to have dreams. It's good to have aspirations. It's good to have these things, but in balance. And I'm learning it too, man. I'm telling you, I, I'm a musician, I'm an artist, and I, I just, I feel like I'm being lazy every day. But sometimes, sometimes God, I think, is just telling me, stop, stop, Danny, stop. Would you stop and just spend time with me? Just stop for a moment. Listen, heed unto my word, know that I'm God, and, and listen unto me. You know, I'm telling you, I think I missed the boat sometime on that, guys. I'm telling you, we're, a lot of us are. A lot of us are. We're missing the boat on this. We think what's so important is our, uh, uh, all this thing we think we got accomplished before we die. That's not, I don't think that's going to be the most important thing to God. I really do not. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and all of his righteousness. What does that mean? It's seeking what it is that pleases him. I think all that will fall together, that will fall in place. All those dreams, aspirations you have, you'll have balance in life. You'll have that the absolutely peace with God to know how to deal with everyday situations, you know, and how to navigate the waters, if you will. Navigate in your boat on those waters. To how to navigate to where you will be at peace of how to tackle each day. And to, if you got a dream and aspiration, then God's able to make that become more clear and more focused as you seek his word. And absolutely he wants you to spend time being a skillful person, whatever you do, or whatever you love in your passion is but um, with that passion comes understanding that our life can be taken out tomorrow and who's gonna care actually whatever art you do or whatever thing you accomplished and all that you know what nobody's gonna care you know what last you already know the answer to this guys I ain't gotta tell you what did you do for Christ what is it that people going to remember you what do you want people to remember you for i did all this great music you know what that comes and goes people forget the beatles in 10 years i don't even think most kids even remember the beatles or so what i'm just saying that's a high i'm just pushing high but i'm just I'm trying to give you an instance who's going to care at the end of the day right so what we do for christ should be our goal and it should be mine to push for the high calling guys i'm going to tell you this is what's going to matter in the end it's not how you begin it's not where you are in the middle it's how you end and you can't end well and he wants to help you do that he wants to help me do that i'm not good at this neither are you but by his grace we are who we are and if anybody, if anyone, if you have that desire, you have that desire, put it in your heart and hold on to it, hold fast to it, hide it, seek first the kingdom of God and all of his righteousness and all these things will be added unto you. You know what? That's it. Amen. God bless.